for f of x, again, remember we have the factors x plus 5, x minus 1, and x minus 4 squared. So the multiplicity on the root x equals negative 5 is odd. So with x equals negative 5, we have a multiplicity of 1, which is odd. For x equals positive 1, it's also a multiplicity of 1, which is odd. And for x equals 4, it's a multiplicity of 2, which is even. Well, let's go to the graph. Okay. Remember, we had a multiplicity of 1 for x equals negative 5, an odd number, so our graph crosses the x-axis. It continues down and then eventually comes back up towards our other root of x equals positive 1, which also had an odd multiplicity. So again, we cross the x-axis. We go up a little bit and then come back down to our last root at x equals positive 4. But the factor x minus 4 had a power of 2, an even multiplicity, which means we just touch the x-axis and we bounce back up. And we continue on going upwards. So this is how we use multiplicity, or the exponents, to determine the behavior around the roots, whether we cross the x-axis or whether we bounce. Let's also look at g of x. All right, for g of x, for the root x equals 0, we have a multiplicity of 2, which is even. At x equals negative 4, we have a multiplicity of 1, which is odd. And at x equals positive 3, we have a multiplicity of 3, which is also odd. So the only place we should be bouncing is at x equals 0. The other places we cross. And we do, in fact, see that at x equals 0, we bounce. But at x equals negative 4, and at x equals 3, we're crossing the x-axis. So we have an odd multiplicity, an even multiplicity, and an odd multiplicity. That is exponents and the behavior around roots. So let's go through an example. Sketch the following graph of f of x equals x times x plus 6 squared times x plus 2 to the fourth times x minus 5 to the third without using a graph in utility. I'm just looking for a sketch here. It doesn't have to be super accurate. You don't have to have each peak the accurate height, but be careful about the roots and the behavior around the roots. Try that on your own first, and then when you're ready, you can resume the video and see the solution. All right, let's number our axes, or at least the x-axis. we see that we have roots at 0, negative 6, negative 2, and positive 5. And at negative 6, because it's an even power, we're going to bounce. Negative 2, we're going to bounce. 0, we're going to cross, because it's just x to the first power. And at positive 5, we're going to cross, because it's x it's x minus 5 cubed. So we have even multiplicity, even multiplicity, odd multiplicity, odd multiplicity.